Hello. Hi. I'm Franco Zampicinini from Nginco, and uh, I'm a technical sales engineer after some years of hardware development. And uh, today I show you how uh, we can go over the simple power measurement to get more information from the devices. Uh, we are working with a Danish company that is uh, DS Energy, that they produce uh, a monitoring system and they use the system with our smart plug energy meter. The smart plug is a new revision of the first, uh, or the first plug that we made uh, three years ago, and we learned uh, a lot uh, during these, uh, these years. It's a uh, class C, so you, you can uh, send down links in real time, and uh, it's always powered by the line. It's very accurate because it's a class 0.2S. That means uh, that it's a 0.2% of uh, accuracy on the most of the, of the range of the, of the current. It has a relay output to reach up to 16 amps, and you can choose the default power on status. Uh, it has a rechargeable battery, so if the power goes down, it can send a message so you know that uh, the power is missing since a uh, few hours ago, and uh, if you are monitoring a fridge or vending machine, you can decide what to do with, uh, with the goods inside. Uh, as I told you before, the power on status can be chosen, uh, depending on the, on the use case. If you have a dangerous machine, as the fault could be off, but if, uh, if you have a coffee machine, as the fault uh, could be on. Uh, it, uh, it has an overload, a software overload protection through threshold. So you can decide uh, if you want to disable the output in case the current is too high. And a push button that can be disabled to make a rejoin, to send a measurement, or to change the status of the output. Uh, the messages can be sent uh, on time interval or with threshold, so you can save uh, traffic on the network, sending the cumulative energy once a day, but uh, you can know in real time if the load is switched off or switched off by, by the user. There is a LED to indicate the status of the lower one connection and the status of the output. Uh, the configuration can be made through Bluetooth. So also, if you put the smart plug in the in hard to reach location, like uh, under a big fridge or something like that, uh, you can configure it without the need to go with the smartphone on the on the sensor itself. And uh, every parameter of this device can be changed with downlinks. Uh, the antenna is embedded in the, the in the sensor. Uh, you can change a every parameter from the period, from the threshold, can be changed uh, with downlinks. And we are working to implement a calendar, so uh, minute by minute, every day, uh, to define the status of the output. So it can work also without the connectivity. Uh, this sensor can give up to 10 different data. Uh, apart from the energy, the instantaneous energy and the, uh, the instantaneous uh, power and the cumulative energy. So uh, with this data, you can uh, understand the quality of the load. Uh, you have the instantaneous values of voltages, current, the period, and also the running time of the sensor. As I told you before, is a plus minus 0.0. 2% error from the 5% to 100% of the nominal load. And uh, depending on the, on the load, or the load type is capacitive or something like that, uh, the worst case is 0.5%. This means that uh, uh, on a standard average consumption, uh, the difference between a standard uh, smart plug, Wi-Fi, or something else uh, could be uh, 60 euro on the total bill. Maybe it, cannot, it doesn't matter on this case, but if you're monitoring uh, industrial load, uh, ventilation system, uh, can make uh, the difference. Uh, 
also if you have to build the consumption, uh, the 0.2% uh, can be very useful. Uh, there are thresholds, programmable thresholds on the device uh, to do a couple of things. Uh, to send a message immediately, a saving on a periodic message, or also to uh, disable the output on the, uh, on the load. With the threshold, you can calculate, uh, for example, the cycle time of a compressor on a fridge. The output can be drive with duration. That means that uh, if you want to drive uh, uh, valves, a motor, or something like that, uh, you can send a message with the duration of the, of the output. You can make also a sort of uh, watchdog or safe state output in case of problem. If you drive a heater that is a quite a dangerous load, you can send a message with an on time of 30 minutes if you are able to send another on time before the time expires, you can give the heater still on. But if you lose the network connect, uh, connection, in the worst case, after 30 minutes, the, the load will be in a safe state. You can set the duration from 100 milliseconds to two hours. DS Energy is a Danish company that provides uh, the full solution from the sensor to the um, application uh, for different uh, fields, from the electricity, for the water, gas, uh, temperature, for industrial, and uh, also for the houses. They work in different fields, and uh, they have many years of experience, uh, not only with the lower one, but also with other type of connectivity. Uh, they offer a platform to uh, visualize and analyze the data and to make prediction of, uh, of the load. Now I show you some real cases where the measurement of the power can be useful not only to calculate the, the, the expenses of the energy, but also to do something different. This is an example of uh, a house with a ventilation system that uh, was out of order for a couple of days. In this case, due to the missing ventilation system, the humidity uh, can increase, causing uh, damages and, uh, on, on the house. Another case, also in a house, when the families go out, uh, shut off everything, and also in this case, the temperature decreases and the humidity increases. In this case, the, the owner of the house can, uh, uh, can do something to avoid damages on the walls. In this case, is a ventilation system in a chemical factory where the consumption of the, of the machine was very high also during the, um, the weekend. So with this kind of sensor that you can understand what happens to the load with uh, measuring the power and the current. You can save money, you can turn off the machinery remotely and uh, immediately saving. Another use case is a plastic molding machine where the, con the temperature control broke and uh, the power consumption goes very high compared to the standard one. In this case, thanks to the smart plug, uh, you can shut off the machine, avoiding damages, uh, especially if the, the problem happened during the, the holidays. This is a heat pump for cheese production, uh, where you can program the temperature of uh, the machine. Here, the consumption is very high due to a technical error on the programmation of the machine. Measuring the energy, the, the, the power of the, the machine, you can see that there is a problem. You can be alerted in real time that there is a problem, thanks to the threshold. And you can uh, make a, some, uh, something to avoid, to correct uh, the programmation. Mm, my, my, I want to, to tell you that you can measure the energy, but with the energy, you can understand what happens to the load. You can make predictions. You can avoid uh, uh, damages. and. Thanks to the output, you can also shut off in case of uh, danger. 
uh, this is my contact, and uh, we have the boot uh, out of there. And uh, thanks for attending, and um, enjoy your day.